This big nasty spider is about to become Mantis Lunch. Is that a word, Mantis Lunch? everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Really quick video. I found these two big, nasty, scary, giant house spiders out in the chicken coop. Does that make them chicken coop spiders? Anyways, found them outside, and it's been really cold for the last two and a half, almost three weeks. It's been down around freezing and below freezing. We had a couple inches of snow several days, and it all melted today. We got up to almost 50 degrees, and that's not bad for it being 31 and 3 inches of snow or 2 inches of snow on the ground just a day and a half ago. So, yeah, it's actually pretty good, right? So I was cleaning out the old chicken coop, which I've been using for a shed, thinking of getting chickens. People keep saying, get chickens, we'll take care of the spiders. I found these two nasty spiders, so I'm going to feed them to the praying mantis. And it would be really cool if I could feed them to the praying mantis at the same time, both at the same time. Put the mantis there in a little feeding container and then put them spiders in there and it just go to town. Rawr! But that didn't really work out that way. So when the mantis saw the first spider put in, it just boogied on towards it and there was no way I was going to get both spiders in, so I gave up on that plan. I guess next time I should have the spiders in there first and then put the mantis in there. And as you can see, a praying mantis makes short work of a nasty giant house spider. Scary spider, horrible spider, very big, very fast, just horrible spiders. Not black widows, but still horrible. And on the topic of black widows, it has been exactly 23 days since we have found a black widow in the house. But like I said, it's been really cold and we've been keeping the house really cold too. So it could just be that the Black Widows are hiding. So we got to keep this praying mantis, got to keep her in shape so, you know, she can eat Black Widows and other nasty spiders. And she's doing a good job, right? Also, for those of you who have been wondering, it's been about three weeks since this praying mantis laid that egg case. We showed that video where it laid an egg case. Bam, it's been three weeks. People say she's supposed to die after she does it. I don't know one way or another, but I do know, look at this video, does she look like she's dead or almost dead? No, not at all. Alright, so what do you think? You rooting for the praying mantis, or did you root for the spider? Well, we know what happened there, right? And you guys keep saying, hey, when are you going to show me that second half of that mantis vs. frog video? Well, I'm still working on that, and i got some weird reasons why I'm still working on it, but let me tell you this, here's a little hint. I filmed that, I don't know, uh, more than a month ago, a month and a half ago, almost two months ago. And you don't see a frog in any of my videos, but you do see a praying mantis. All oh, right, hey, thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, really quick, for those of you who keep saying, you know what you're doing, you're stupid, you're taking bad care of that praying mantis, you suck. Get a lot of that. As well as, you don't know how to keep a praying mantis. The container you see the praying mantis eating a spider in is not the same thing the praying mantis lives in. And if you leave comments like that without looking around my videos, you're just going to look foolish because I have shown the habitat this mantis lives in. In fact, this mantis now lives in a habitat with William the Lizard. Yeah, that could turn out poorly for either of them on a bad day, right? Prior to that, this mantis lived in a 10-gallon tank with another mantis until she got tired of him and ate him. So, and she ate that nightmare spider, too. She ate him right on up. So when you see this mantis in a small habitat like that, it's a feeding habitat, a feeding container. It's, so this, if I drop the spider in the big habitat, he will run away and he will hide. And then who knows what he will do. So we want to put it right in there so the mantis can eat him. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Oh my, oh my gosh! Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.